everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Erica from Confessions of a Homeschooler and today I'm going to be doing a review on our science curriculum that we have been using this year. Now this is a new curriculum to us so we, um, I had actually contacted the company. It looked interesting to me and they were willing to send me a copy just to try it out. Um, I will say that we have so far been loving it. We were previously using a Becca and if you would like to see a review on Becca um, Science just leave a link or a comment below and I'll try and do that for you. Um, I will say that a Becca is kind of true to form across all of their curriculum. They're not super hands-on. They're really more focused on reading the text and doing quizzes and worksheets and tests. And um, while I think that's important, if you want to go back and look at our curriculum for this year video, you'll see I kind of explain why we chose that. Um, I do think there's some value in that. That said, I also wanted for a science specifically, I wanted it to be a more fun and hands-on kind of experience for them because I think they really just retain the information better. Um, so I did want to try this one out. So this one is called the beginnings and this particular year is the rainbow year. Um, I believe this is junior high. I'll put all the correct information for what it covers below and the cost and all of that kind of thing and where you can get it. Um, this is a two year curriculum. We have only done um, the first year. We have about a week of school left and we started this a little bit late getting in the year. So um, we should Hopefully we finish it. If not, we might actually have to finish a little bit of it, um, you know, in the beginning of next year. But I do plan to continue using this. I do really like this curriculum. I like that it's hands-on. Um, it's set up in such a way that the students do two lessons, two reading lessons out of the book, and then they do a lab. And my kids love that. They love lab day. It's a lot of fun. They've got to do a lot of kind of cool experiments. Um, I will say that some of them didn't quite work out the way they were supposed to. Um, some of them did. A lot of them have. And if they didn't work out, um, you know, my kids are at the age now where they can kind of see what should have happened. Like, you know, they can kind of say, okay, well, we messed this up because we did this, but this is what should have happened. And it's been totally fine. Um, so if you are going to use this curriculum, you will need to get the student, um, uh, this is the student reading textbook here. As you can see, it's nice and colorful. It's got all kinds of um, fun stuff in it. It also has comprehension questions at the end of each section, which I'll show you in detail in just a minute. Um, it also, you'll also need the teacher's manual. This is pretty just kind of plain, straightforward. I'll show these up close also um, in just a minute as well. But basically this has all of the information for um, if your student is reading something that day, what the answers are, what they, just an overview of what they read in case you don't have time to read it yourself, which I think is really nice. Why they showed you that, because sometimes some of the lessons will introduce a concept, but it, it's just a basic overview of that, but then later on they'll touch back. And they tell you that in the teacher's manual. We're just introducing this today and then we'll touch back on it later, which is nice. Um, and then of course it has all the answers for any of the questions that are in the student text as well. Um, you'll also need the student manual. And this, or not manual, this is the lab notebook. Um, and then inside it literally has all of their lab um, instructions, what they need to do, um, you know, places to fill out. If, say they're doing an experiment, there's a chart in there that they can fill out and all of that. And then you don't have to do this, but I did also add in just a regular spiral binder. And my daughter uses this to take notes and to answer any of the questions in her reading as well. Okay, so one of the main questions I get about science curriculum is whether or not it's Christian or uh, religious in nature or if it's uh, more secular in nature. So the Rainbow Science is a Christian curriculum. The creators are Christians. Um, year one is physics and chemistry, and to my recollection, I don't recall them um, talking about religion really in any of the lessons uh, for year one at least. Um, year two is biology, and so they do present both um, a Christian viewpoint and a world viewpoint when talking about science. They they present the material to you and then I think depending on you know what you're looking for you could then have some additional discussions with your kiddos but it is written from a Christian viewpoint so if that helps any of you out um, you're also welcome to email them and uh, probably ask any if you have any concerns about their curriculum or want to know a little bit more about that um, one thing that I really do like about it is how it is read um, how it reads so for um, you know most textbooks students read them it just has the information it kind of presents it to them sort of as like a third party like here's the information what you know and just read it and learn it. This one is actually more of a conversational piece and so the very first page it just starts talking to your student and even when they're doing their lab it's really more conversational like okay grab your grab your safety glasses put them on we know you feel silly but it's okay and it's really more of just like the the text is talking to your student versus just um, just dry text. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. I really do like that. It can be a little bit goofy sometimes and my kids are like what you know but I think it just adds a little bit of fun to it. Um, 
them and it makes them smile and it kind of every now and then some of the th things that they write in here make make us laugh and it's like you know do this even though you feel like a dork but it's okay and you know they don't say any words that they shouldn't say or anything it's just it's just kind of a fun way to present the information it's just much more conversational like if they were watching you know a video of somebody like having a conversation with them kind of like that so i really do like that about this curriculum um, we do plan to use it again i do need to make sure that um, it's something that will count for high school credit for my daughter if it doesn't, um, and that's really gonna be dependent on which college, I have to call around to the colleges and see what they'll accept for credit. Um, I will for sure use this for my son because he's loving it. If my daughter has to do something different for high school, then you know we'll kind of make that decision when it comes. And if you missed my planning for high school video, um, so that you, if you don't know what I'm talking about right there, um, just go back and watch that and that'll explain everything. Um, but we do wanna make sure that it's something that will be accepted by any colleges she's looking at. So. Yeah, so we do plan on using this though. We made it through, we started a little late in the year because we started with a Becca and then, you know, it just wasn't, just wasn't very fun and hands-on. And so I was like, you know what, I think I'm gonna make a change. And I contacted, like I said, the company, this looked really fun. And so far I haven't been disappointed. I do like it. We've only, we'll only make it through physics and chemistry and then next year we'll do the biology and the applications. So I think it'll actually be really, um, really kind of fun. I do think that you have to buy for year two, um, you have to buy, a a new um, student lab notebook and it might also require different supplies but I'm not sure I'll try and find that information um, and put it below but um, all the information is on their website which I'll also link below as well so let's take a closer look inside I'll show you exactly what it looks like how we set it up what we do every day um, for this curriculum and yeah hopefully that answers um, most of your questions so here's kind of what it looks like a little bit more up close and then I'll show you the kit contents as well. Um, so basically what you're going to need is the student textbook, this is their reading textbook, a teacher's manual, um, the student lab book and the lab assignments and instructions are in here so you really do need that. Um, all the answers for the reading questions and the labs are in this book so you do also need the teacher's manual. And then I just had my kids use a separate just a regular spiral notebook um, to take all of their notes from their reading in. And so how this program works is they basically do two lessons and then one lab. And so how we set it up was on Monday and Tuesday they do the reading lessons and then on Wednesday they do the lab and then on Thursday and Friday they're off from science. So the reading um, is nice and colorful. Uh, I do like how it's written. I have allowed them to highlight in here information. Um, there's a lot of information in here. Um, and like I said, this is actually a two-year curriculum. This is the first year of that. So the topics in here are physics, um, chemistry, biology, and then the last one, oh, applications for all of that. Okay, so um, my first... Um, thought on this is that it's actually really easy to use. It doesn't require a whole lot out of me. My student reads, uh, my daughter and son are both doing this. They read the um, assignment for the day. There's questions at the end of it. They answer them in here. Um, and then I just use this to kind of talk to them, make sure that they understood what they were doing they got their answers right, etc. And then on the third day, they get out the lab book and all of their, um, um, you know, anything that they need for it. And then they do the lab I supervise some of them. Some of them I read, you know, I read them ahead. If it doesn't seem like something I need to be, you know, supervising, like they're not lighting anything on fire or anything, then I kind of let them do it on their own and then we talk about it afterwards. And most of the time I'll watch them, but I try not to involve myself too much if I can. Um, one thing that I really do like about this curriculum is that their assignments are pretty easily laid out. So for example, for physics, if they were on lesson 26, it literally says 26 up here. There's the title. Here's the information they need to read. And then here's the questions at the end of that. And then this is lesson 27. So it's easy for me to say, all right, you're doing lesson 26 today. And that's really all I need to tell them. And they know where to stop and start. Whereas with some other ones, you might need to be like, okay, read page this to this, and then do these questions and then read these pages. So um, it's laid out really nicely like that. Um, my only thing that I've kind of had so far on this is that some of the questions, they're not that many questions, so it's not very overwhelming. Um, I think there maybe could be a few more because, for example, for this section, she only had three questions. Um, it seems a little bit light in that sense to me. Um, so, you know, if you want to read and ask more questions, you could definitely do that. One thing that I haven't 
completely loved and I think it's because I'm used to using a Becca where you know if they ask you a question down here it's word for word in the text in this particular um, what we found so far the reading doesn't always um, it's not necessarily the answer is not necessarily word for word in the reading for the questions and so sometimes they actually are having a little bit of a difficult time trying to figure out the answer just from the reading and I will even go back to try and help them and I have the teacher's manual so I'm looking through their text for the answer that's in my teacher's manual and sometimes it's not in here. So what I mean by that is they've addressed the topic but the the literal answer isn't necessarily in the text. It might be something they have to infer um, from what they've read. So sometimes I feel like the answers aren't really all that clear so I'm not as hard on my kids if they have, you know, if they don't quite get the answers correct because it's just something they might have to figure out from what they've read which I think is also a good skill to have so um, it's kind of a pro and a con in my mind. Um, I do sort of like it where it's a little bit more straightforward because I can say, did you read it? Is it in there? And then when I go back to find it, if I'm having a hard time finding it, it's kind of hard. Um, so anyways, that's really my only probably complaint about this curriculum so far. Um, I do like it. Um, so the teacher's manual is pretty straightforward. It just kind of, you know, tells them yellow section lesson four. And then in their book, that's literally the yellow pages and lesson four right here. So it's pretty easy to figure out, you know, what they're doing versus you know what you're doing and it just tells you what the purpose of the section was um, a little building block section why they're learning this because sometimes they'll introduce a concept but then they'll build on it later the main concept for today and then some of the things that they talked about and then here's answers to the questions that were presented in the student book over here so it's really easy for me I just can read really quickly what they read if I didn't have time to read this and just see what they did and then I have the answers to their questions as well. And it also has the information for the labs in here as well. What did they do today? What should have happened? Why did we do this? Um, and here's answers for anything that they should have done in their workbook. So the teacher's manual is pretty straightforward. It's been pretty easy to follow along with. It goes exactly along with the text. So that makes it really nice and easy. Here's what the student workbook looks like. And this is again, rainbow year one. And then if for year two, you have to, you do have to get the year two lab manual and I think it's probably a different set of supplies as well. I'll have to verify that. But anyways, it just has you, you know, it just says, okay, we're on red section lab two. You read all this information. It literally tells them what to do and then they can kind of fill it out as they go. And these are all really fun, kind of hands-on. This, this particular one was more of a calculator type, you know, worksheet situation but for the most part their hands on um, lab experiments and I'll show you the supply kit here next and it really does include literally everything that you need the only thing that we've had to get I think was a thing of distilled water um, otherwise the supply kit that comes with it is literally it, if it needs a paper towel there's a paper towel in the kit like I kid you not it literally a uh, toothpick toothpicks in there um, you know if you're lighting anything on fire the lighter is in there it's just literally a full everything that you could possibly need. And then like I said, I added in, you don't have to do this, you could do the questions just verbally, but I added in this so that they can take notes on anything and then they just write down their questions. And as you can see, it's not a whole lot of information each day, so it doesn't take them too long. Um, it's not very overwhelming, but I think the content is actually fairly interesting. And if you ask either of them if they prefer this over what we were doing previously, they will say yes. They definitely like it, they like doing the labs, um, and it's a lot of fun. So let's take a look at the kit, um, the supply kit, so you can kind of see what comes in there. All right, so here's the supplies that come with the kit. And um, I have it on my floor because it's, it's quite large. I would say this is almost two feet by three feet. Um, and then there it comes with a bunch of um, chemistry vials and then a bunch of extra stuff. So I'll kind of show you up close a little bit. Um, some of the stuff is actually missing from our kit right now because it's being used or it has been used. But when I said that they included literally everything, as you can see, if we needed, if we need paper cups or plastic cups or anything, there's rulers, there's, you know, stirring rods. Some of our graduated cylinders and things are being used right now. Um, lighters, there's a straw in here. I mean, they literally have included pretty much anything that you need. I haven't had to get anything extra, like I said, other than distilled water um, is one of the things that we used. Um, it also comes, there's a lot of chemistry experiments that you do, and so we've obviously done quite a few of them so far, but it comes with these little vials, of uh, whatever you might need, and so far it hasn't been anything too scary. Um, there's vegetable, like literally vegetable oil, 
you know, there's dyes, there's anything that you need for um, anything that you're doing. So that's really nice and helpful because if I had to go out and get all this stuff on my own, I probably would not be that great at it just because some of the things are a little bit more unusual and you might not have them readily available. Um, the other kit, and we actually, it came in one of those cardboard boxes, but we just put it in here so it's a little bit easier. Um, but it includes all of these fun, these are some wires. We made atoms and things like that out of this. Um, you do use this for ice cube. Now, one thing that I will say is they literally give you everything you need, but when my daughter went to pop these ice cubes out, this actually cracked. It wasn't a big deal because we only have used this for one experiment. Um, I'm hoping that we don't have to use it, or if we do, we can just still use these, but um, we have had a couple of those things happen where she also cracked one of my plastic cups, and that's not a big deal. We can get another plastic cup, so. Um, but they literally include, if you need it, it's included in here, and there's just, I mean, there's battery. It's just, there's, yeah, you can't even literally anything that you need is in the kit and i do really like that because then i don't have to plan ahead i just tell the kids okay go read this get whatever you need out of the supply kit and have at it and then i'm not having to help them find things which i you know stuff like that just bugs me and i don't have time i feel like i don't have time for it and so anyways if you buy the kit i do think that it's worth it it literally comes with everything that you might possibly use um and so you know that does make it a little bit more expensive when you're buying kits like that but it's definitely worth it if you're going to do the curriculum all right so that is basically my review for the rainbow um, science we are really liking it i do plan on using it again i love the labs the kids are having fun so far it hasn't been anything too dangerous or you know crazy um, but it's just fun enough that it piques their interest and they are really enjoying it so i hope this video was helpful if you'd like to see curriculum reviews on anything else please make sure to leave a comment below or if you have a question about it that i didn't address in the video make sure to leave a comment below for that as well um, there are not tests i forgot to say that um, there aren't really worksheets and tests for this there's more, they just read the questions and then they do the labs and that's just kind of the sequence of it. So if you're kind of like a quiz and test person, this may not be the one for you or you might find yourself making up tests based on the questions. I suppose you could do that as well. Um, I don't feel the need to do that. I think that they're learning just by doing the um, reading and the labs because it's, it's a lot more hands-on and engaging for them. So, but you can kind of um, probably organize it however you want and however best fits your family. So anyways, that's my review for the Rainbow Science. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, make sure to email me. I'll put all of my information in the, down, um, the box below. Just hit that little more um, button. And then if you really like this video or you'd like to see more, make sure to subscribe to my channel um, or like this video so that I know that um, you guys are enjoying it. So thank you so much for spending time with me today and watching this. I hope it was helpful for some of you. And I will see you next time.